Hey there, it's Jody Sutter of The Sutter Company and it's Just Ask Jody. It's that time when I take a question from an agency around an issue they're having with business development and I'll answer that question in four minutes or less. And the t uh, today, the question is, what is an ideal subject line for a prospecting email? This is a hard one, right? Because we have so little time between the moment when a prospect sees the email sitting in the inbox if we're even lucky enough for them to see it at all, uh, to entice them to open it and to engage. So a lot of times I talk about when pitching new business, I talk about appealing to your audience's lizard brain. Our lizard brain is on the front lines of all communication. It's the oldest part of our brain. It's responsible for fight or flight. It uh, acts really quickly to understand whether information it's receiving is a threat uh, or uh, offer something that's something that's of benefit to it, something that's of, that's going to be pleasurable, that's going to be enjoyable to interact with. So your subject line really needs to appeal to the lizard brain more than it needs to appeal to your audience's higher level of consciousness, the neocortex, the critical thinking part of the brain. So I think the best, one of the best subject lines that you can use is simply this. Your boss suggested that I get in touch. So obviously replace your boss with the name of the person that is th the name of the boss. And what this does, number one, it uh, establishes a sense of familiarity. So that lizard brain says, okay, I recognize that name. Uh, and so it's a sense of building a little bit of social capital, some social trust. The other thing it does, if you're naming a boss, is for that person, they then feel a sense of obligation. Well, if my boss suggested that this person contact me, I better follow through because I tend to do what my boss says, assuming it's an appropriate <laughs> request. So if you're not lucky enough to be able to get the referral of their boss, you can achieve a similar effect with any name of a person who has some influence over your audience. So that be, could be a colleague, a coworker, a strategic partner. Um, sometimes it can even include a vendor depending on how strong the relationship is. And of course that will vary. The other thing that makes a really strong subject line is having a strong strategic positioning for your agency. So a really strong subject line goes something like this, and it sounds a lot like your, your elevator pitch. We do these kinds of things for these types of clients, and we get this kind of, these kinds of results. So you're making a promise about the types of outcome this client could potentially see, plus mentioning the type of businesses you work well with also allows that your target audience to understand whether or not they are part of that group. And if you get results for a group that they recognize they're a part of, they're probably gonna to wanna to see those same results. Okay, well, a lot of agencies also don't have the benefit of that. For whatever reason, it's hard to get results, or for whatever reason, they don't have a narrow enough positioning. Then I think you gotta look at the subject line less as a way to get in the door on that first contact and more as a way to de-emphasize the importance of the subject line because the fact is it probably won't work to get you in the door right away and it will take a number of repeated contacts by email, by phone, by LinkedIn, all those best practices that we talk about when we talk about successful outreach. And so those subject lines will become more familiar over time. It's a way to build familiarity over time. It's not ideal doesn't have that immediate impact, but you know what, we gotta work with what we have. And if you are in that situation, what I would suggest is to go back and see if you can work on the strength of your strategic positioning. I'll just end with one other quick suggestion. A lot of times when we send out these marketing emails, our audience has a pre their preview pane turned on. So the subject line is important, but don't forget that it's very likely that they may also see that first short sentence or half sentence in the preview pane. So make sure you're using that real estate wisely as well. That's it for this Just Ask Jody. If you have a question you'd like me to answer on another Just Ask Jody, you can email that to me at Jody at thesuttercompany.com.